We're now entering Pandora, the world of Avatar, incredible floating mountains behind me, and so much more. Excited to bring you along. The movie's all about respecting nature, and when you come in here, you feel that sense of awe and wonder. Now look at this. The characters, larger than life. That was incredible, just to be totally immersed in the world of Avatar here at Pandora. Diego, millions of people around the world have been watching the world of, of Avatar, and you've been living in it and creating it. Talk about that experience. Well, I think as Imagineers, our goal is to tell stories, uh, and we've been doing that since that initial uh, idea that Walt had for building Disneyland in 1955. And I think as Imagineers, our goal is to be able to take, many times, those great stories that you see up on the silver screen, and to be able to create them into physical environments where all of our guests from all over the world will be able to visit these areas and create emotional connections, create these stories within themselves to be able to have those experiences of those stories. And it's a world that just, you see it and you're in awe. First of all, I have to say, we couldn't have done this without working with Lightstorm Entertainment. I mean, they were just pivotal. These are their uh, stories and, and they really, really helped to guide us to be able to bring these stories to life. So we have to look at Avatar, right? What, when you look at the film, what are the things that you want to be able to incorporate? And uh, for us from the very beginning, we came up with three different things that really piqued our interest. Our first one was the floating mountains. I mean, the floating mountains are just absolutely unbelievable in the film. Uh, very visual, very beautiful. So that, that's one right there. Uh, the second one was the bioluminescence, believe it or not. We thought that that was a very, very important part uh, of the films. And the third one was flight, right? And what would it feel like to actually be able to take flight on a banshee? So those were really three of many, right, that ideas that basically kind of stuck with us. And then from there, you start to really develop and start coming up with the ideas that eventually became the attraction at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And talk about the elements of those attractions. You mentioned flying on a banshee, something that so many people that visualize and, and now can experience here. Yeah. What is that like? Well, one of the things about the Flight of Passage, it's actually a very emotional experience. Uh, not only do you have that physical side of being able to take flight, uh, but one of my favorite elements of it is what you visually get to see uh, as you're actually flying through Pandora. It's absolutely uh, a stunning. Where if you go on Navi River Journey, that experience is it's, it's a little bit different. That's where you get to meet uh, the Shaman of Songs, one of my favorite, favorite um, attractions here uh, within the land. So every time that you turn around, you're gonna be seeing different unique things and different things that might tweak your interest to be able to look a little bit deeper. And that's really what we want you to do. It is so extraordinary. And then to discover you know, the, the, the Shaman of Songs, and oh, just absolutely. be immersed in that is so amazing. So congrats. Oh, thank you, thank an you. Amazing world here with your team and uh, excited to explore it today. Really appreciate that.